2001 Audi TT. As you can see, it's finished in bright red um, and someone has had a contrasting black roof added to it. It's quite a nice touch, makes it kind of look like the sport options or the sport model even. Um, you will see as we go around, it's got some sort of aftermarket stickers and badges and labels and add-ons. All really easy to remove. It is worth pointing out that you tend to find people that spend all that time and money putting this stuff on do tend to look after their cars. So it is, it might not be to everybody's taste, but it is normally the sign of a good car, usually. Um, or from my experience, anyway. We'll start by having a look at the bodywork and then we'll start it up and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, but if we start on this driver's side, you can see nice and bright, all one colour of red, which is nice. Going down this front arch, you've got a little bubble here. It's a tiny one. Um, but going around the rest of it's all nice and clean. It has got some stickers on the wheels, but they are your standard Audi TT wheels with four good tyres on them. And obviously you've got this TT Sport sticker on the side of there, just in case you forgot what you were driving. But again, they will just peel off. That sails all nice and tidy. Paintwork's actually really good. This driver's door is really nice and clean. No signs of any dents or, or marks. Wing mirrors have been done gloss black to match the roof. They're nice and clean and tidy. Nice clean door edge. Obviously it's got a little door protector on there, but it is nice and clean. Again, all along here, you've got a tiny, oh, that's a bit of dust, even better. There you go. This rear arch, all nice and solid, nice and clean. Another good wheel and tire. Even around the air. Uh, fuel cap is no milkiness or anything at all really nice and tidy like i say if you're going to go to the trouble of putting all these stickers and stuff on you probably tend to keep the paintwork nice and you tend to keep it well serviced and all that sort of stuff like i say it's had the roof painted black done quite a nice job of it it's nice and tidy as you can see there's no sign of any sort of dents or, or dings or anything it's a little bit dusty there it's just sat in here for a couple of days the building seems to just attract dust it's great fun for us this rear quarter, all nice and clean and tidy. Twin exhausts. I will detail it in the description, but I believe it's a 225, but I will I will describe it. So you've got a 180 and a 225, which is the power output. 180 is normally a single exhaust. 225 is normally a twin, but again, you can add that second exhaust, so I will put it in the description once we've had a good look at it. All nice and clean along here. Spoiler's been done gloss black as well. Again, all nice and tidy on there. Got some extra barges and things on there. Plates are a little bit faded. I'd say they're probably the original plates, but they are quite faded, so they might want replaced. Rear passenger quarter, nice and clean. You've got a little bit of a lacquer peel here, as you can see. The arch itself is all nice and solid. Another good wheel and tyre. Some curb, curb marking on this one. Um, but to be fair, if it was mine, the first thing I'd be doing is taking those stickers off and, and getting them refurbed, cleaning them up. It would change the whole car instantly. Again, this roof on this side, all nice and clean. With a good sill down here. Like I said, the body works lovely and clean. Nice and clean around the leading edge of the door. Even the door shuts and everything are all nice and tidy. Another good wing mirror. A little bit of glue or something on there which we'll, we'll clean off. A bit of residue, maybe a bit of polish or something perhaps. The stickers on this side are peeling slightly. And then this arch, all nice and tidy. So you've only got that, that little bubble on one side and there's been a scratch touched in there which you can just see if a Get up nice and close. And then this, the same scratch continues here. Headlights could do with a polish, but that's pretty much standard on every TT I think I've ever seen. Got some extra badges down the bottom there. One, two, three, four, five extra badges. Probably get an extra two or three mark the gallon if you take all these badges off. Quarter a ton of badges on this car. A little bit of lacquer peel here on the bonnet. It's actually a chip in the lacquer peel there. Stone chip wise, it's pretty good. Not really any signs of any stone chips there, I can see. Maybe one tiny one there if you're going to be really picky. Like I say, apart from the badges and stickers, really nice, straight, clean bodywork. The interior, black leather, it's the sport seats, so it's got the nicer seats. Um, but they have added things like this little copper trim, some extra badges and things. A couple more S badges there, because why not? And some stickers on the, on the headrests. But again, the seat itself, lovely and clean. It's had a small repair here. As you can see, it's not a bad, do bad job, but I've seen better. Um, obviously behind some wear on the, from the seatbelt. It's, uh, they've got a bit of vinyl over the badge on the steering wheel as well. 120,000 miles on this one. Nice set of carpet mats, in, uh, floor mats in there as well. In the rear, all nice and clean, nice and tidy. Black headlining, really good condition. It's not sagging or anything like that. There's no 
sort of stains or funny smells in there, which is always good. We've got the uh, rear load cover there, which obviously sits on this part of the parcel shelf. You've got your warning triangle underneath there, looks to be pretty complete. Full size spare. Sorry, you haven't, you've got a space saver spare and most of your toolkit. This leather strap has come undone. So that one's threaded back through and redone. Two minute job to sort, I would say. Into the passenger side again, there's a few bits and bobs sort of added to the doors. It's all easy enough to remove. Things like little chrome plates on the, on the striker plate. But this passenger seat's lovely and clean, lovely and tidy. No signs of any real wear there. Dashboard and everything's good. Usual TT toys, so you've got aircon, heated seats, that sort of stuff. And then you've got a Sony head unit put in there behind the uh, standard Audi fascia. And it has got an aftermarket gear knob and gear gator. As you can see, we'll uh, go around and pull the bonnet. Lovely and clean in here, the inner wings, all nice and tidy. This has got some extra cable ties because I'm guessing these screws have gone missing. Which I know you can still get them from Audi or you can get them on eBay, they're pretty cheap. It's all still complete, it's just held in with those rather than the little screwy grommets, which sort of look like that. They've gone for cable ties to hold it all in. Engine cover's been obviously cleaned recently because it's all lovely, really, really, really clean in there, nice and shiny. Doesn't seem to drop any oil. Doesn't seem to make any funny noise or anything. It's been with us a little while now. A little bit of a flat battery at one point, but we've charged that up and it seems to have held the charge all right. Cars don't really like just sitting around. Let's start up. There you go. So nice and smooth, nice and quiet. No funny rattles. No sign of any smoke or anything coming out the back. So there you have it. 2001 Audi TT. Any more inquiries, please get in touch.